If someone is interested in science, you can join uh, an effort of inquiry, research, uh, in innumerable different ways. I started out thinking I was going to be a plant biologist. I liked plants. I still grow plants. I grow orchids at home. I garden. I like live green things. And I thought I was going to research them. And so I went to learn to be a, a plant biologist. In the very first year, I discovered that chemistry was probably something I liked a little more, uh, and so did that. I then went to become an organic synthetic chemist, which is getting pretty far away from plant biology. I then learned some molecular biology skills and protein science skills, and I've also learned analytical, um, a more mathematical approach to measurement, I suppose, in chemistry. So that's a pretty broad uh, stretch of techniques. Vitamin E is one of um, a family uh, of vitamins that we call fat soluble. So they're not actually uh, water soluble. Uh, so they include, the fat soluble vitamins include vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin D, um, to name the most common ones. And um, the fat soluble ones are literally soluble in fat, very low solubility in water. And this poses some problems um, in uh, different ways. One of them is uh, we can store fat soluble vitamins to a certain degree uh, and that sounds like a good thing but it can actually amount to toxicity. Vitamin E is uh, um, and known as an antioxidant uh, which basically means it stops things from going rancid or from going bad and since it's soluble only in fats not in water what it tends to work on are other fats. If we didn't have it in a couple of other molecules, it actually works in coordination with vitamin C, which is a water-soluble vitamin. Uh, so they work together uh, to do similar chemistry, which is stopping things from oxidizing inappropriately. One of the things most people um, aren't aware of is that uh, living in an atmosphere full of oxygen is an incredibly difficult thing to do. We evolved to do it because we can get more energy by burning sugars with oxygen. And so we can run around and we're motile, or we're um, free to move around and, and expend energy, gross amounts of energy and muscle movement and such. Uh, but you can't do that if you're um, living using different chemistry that's in, like an anaerobic uh, organism. Remain open. Um, probably shouldn't specialize too soon. You're going to change the nature of your career two, three, four, five times uh, over the early part of your career, most people do. It's healthy, it keeps you interested, uh, it keeps the people you meet interesting because you're always meeting uh, experts who hopefully are smarter than you are uh, because then you always continue to learn.